Noah Bumbach's marriage story is often seen as his magnum opus, a critical darling that had everyone loving the film and put the director on the forefront of everyone's mind. A story about a couple that is going through a divorce is not anything new from Noah as his movie The Squid and the Whale follows a similar path. But the difference with these two stories is that the 2005 indie hit focused more on the impact divorce has on the children, whilst 2019's marriage story focuses on the parents. How the stress of divorce can leave two people who once loved each other very deeply can then resent the idea of just being in the same room again. Divorce is something a young Noah has been through. He has seen his parents get a divorce when he was in his adolescence, so he made the squid and the whale to express what divorce looked like to him from the view of his younger self. But even an older Noah as an adult has witnessed a divorce and that was his very own. A divorce that also involved a child in the marriage. So using that experience, he made this movie, a marriage story, to express the harsh reality of what a divorce can do and the impact it has on the adults. Noah divorced in 2017 and Marriage Story was released two years after. Fresh from living that reality, he then put those experiences he went through onto film. Not a biographical interpretation of what he was going through, but one that I think many people who have been through a divorce can say was very accurate. But not every divorce is the same. So this is a movie that is experienced through what life you have lived, especially a life that had divorce around them. And so I find it difficult to really analyse this because it absolutely feels like a film that Noah Bumbach made for a specific audience member, for a specific person, and that is Noah Bumbach himself. So maybe it isn't a movie that is meant to have a subjective view. Maybe it's a movie that objectively tells us how Noah was feeling in those moments before his eventual divorce. And so we are watching a film about his life lessons and how he dealt with the anguish and subsequent relief of separating from his then wife. A film that is not meant for us to judge artistically, but to instead heed his warning about the true nature of what a separation can look like. How two people who touched each other so intimately that they brought life into this world to now where they can no longer even bear a hug. The common lesson I get throughout Marriage Story is about the winners and losers of a divorce. The idea that one side has to come out as the victor, to take everything from the other side because to leave them even with the scraps is seen as being weak. We hear from Nicole's lawyer Nora even stating the importance of winning in these circumstances. And whenever Charlie is in LA, I got the custody breakdown to be 55-45. So you'll have Henry an extra day every two weeks. I thought we made it equal. I tweaked it at the last minute. I just didn't want him to be able to say he got 50-50 bragging to his friends. But I don't want to do that. Take it. You won. But as Bert, Charlie's first lawyer states, divorce can get messy and even though the parents want what's best for their children, it often ends unceremoniously. I recommend you spend as much time as you can with your son. Many people fight for that time and then they don't even use it. They just want to win. Charlie's second lawyer's assistant says this about what divorce can do to people. Criminal lawyers see bad people at their best, divorce lawyers see good people at their worst. And that seems to be the lesson in which Noah teaches the audience. But can someone win in divorce? If we take a look at the film, Charlie and Nicole were a loving couple. In the beginning, we hear a monologue from both of them describing why they fell in love with each other and what makes each other special to them. What I love about Nicole she makes people feel comfortable about even embarrassing things. It's sweet and cute and a reminder that love always came first and hate is a byproduct of the environment after. That environment that led Charlie to cheat on Nicole. But we did it when you were married and we shouldn't have done it. Making excuses saying it only happened after they decided to split as if that makes it better. You're a fucking liar. You fucked Mary in. after I was sleeping on the couch. bullshit about working on us. Or when Nicole felt like she was living to please only Charlie and never felt listened to in the relationship, even stating she lost her voice and thoughts, always relying on Charlie to make decisions. All the furniture in our house, that was his taste. I didn't even know what my taste was anymore because I had never been asked to use it. There isn't a certain bad person in their relationship, but I find it interesting that we as the audience sympathise more with Nicole. To me, she feels the closest to the main character. A lot of the issues in their relationship seem to stem from Charlie. Charlie, who is a director living in New York, very similar to Noah. And I believe the reason he makes Charlie more of the bad person is because he might be reflecting on his own feelings. Charlie might be Noah Bumbach. And through Marriage Story, Noah uses the character of Charlie for him to admit his wrongs in his own relationship. 
And that's why I say it's too personal of a story to just dissect because it's not made for me. This movie is made solely for Noah Bumbag. So is Noah admitting his loss in his own divorce? No, because even though Nicole got the decision favoured towards her, their child Henry was the true winner. Charlie wanted Henry to live in New York, but through the film we see that Henry becomes more and more fond of living with his mother in LA and going to school there. I think that's why I like Los Angeles better. Because you get to sit? And because I like my friends here better. But Charlie, in his selfish thinking, believes that going back to New York, and even Nicole coming back, is the right decision because it benefits him and his schedule with work. And we see that he is passionate about that idea as he breaks down in tears knowing he is potentially going to lose his case. So we can see it as Nicole won as she did win the court case, but in reality it was a win for their child. And that is the most important takeaway. Noah Bumbach has lived through his parents getting a divorce when he was a child to himself getting his own divorce when he was all grown up. So he understands both sides of a decision and how that affects the children and the adults. However, that's only true to this specific case. There can be winners and losers in a divorce and I'm not speaking in a derogatory way about it. People get divorced for many reasons and a lot of the times that reason is because it's to deal with mental and physical abuse. So even though this film highlights that the winner should always be the children involved, that's not always the case. The winner is what's right for the people involved. In a weird way, Marriage Story becomes a romantic tale about divorce. The ideal way to get one where in the end both parents respect each other and do what is right for their children. And it's a very optimistic look, one that many people will not go through, but one that shows there can be love in a divorce. Noah Bumbach's marriage story is an intimate and beautiful yet heartbreaking look at a marriage that started with life and slowly died to be reborn into something new. Where we witness a cycle of a marriage and how every moment becomes like a theatre play, with each segment having a closing act. And this segment for Noah Bumbach is a closing chapter of this specific part of his life. A chapter which he can call a marriage story.